Who here enjoys a nice glass of wine? Well, for those of you that do, you're not alone. Because globally, we drank 20 billion liters last year. But even though we drink a lot of it, and despite making it for thousands of years, we still don't always get it quite right. Trust me on this, I can still remember the taste of my first attempt at homemade wine. But putting aside my own failures as an amateur winemaker, the professionals do need to navigate a variety of problems that can affect wine quality. And the Okanagan Valley actually provides a perfect case study for one of these problems, forest fires which can blanket grapevines in smoke for days or even weeks. Now, wine made from grapes exposed to forest fire smoke can oftentimes taste excellent, but other times it can end up tasting like an ashtray or a campfire or even a barnyard. Show of hands, who wants to buy a bottle of wine that tastes like that? No, and I can't say I blame you. But as strange as it is to associate these flavors with wine, they represent a real problem called smoke taint, which can occur when grapevines are exposed to the smoke from forest fires. Last year really highlighted the importance of understanding smoke taint with severe fires in or near the wine growing regions of Australia and California, as well as right here in the Okanagan Valley. Since climate change forecasts tell us that the severity of forest fires in these same regions will increase, Smoke taint is not only a present, but a future concern for the quality of the wine that you drink. Right now, wineries make a small amount of wine, which they then taste and smell to identify smoke taint. This can require up to 10 days to get results, and is highly subjective because, for example, you and I, we don't taste or smell things in the same way. The primary goals of my research are to remove this subjectivity and enable the detection of smoke taint in the grape, with results given to wineries in as little as 24 hours rather than 10 days. To achieve these goals, I've developed a set of rigorous scientific tests to measure some of the chemicals in the grape that we know are associated with smoke taint. I anticipate that these tests will help winemakers reach accurate and timely decisions when they have to manage using smoke-exposed grapes. And of course, for the wine consumer, my research will help ensure that your next glass of wine doesn't taste like an ashtray. Thank you. <laughs>